welcome. This is Ruth and today I've got the Christmas Collection Gift Boxes die set from Tonic Studios and it's one of their showcase launches. This one has 32 dies in it and it makes a gingerbread man, a candy cane and stocking gift boxes. So you'll have gift boxes in these three shapes here. But if you just have a quick look at the die set as it is just lying flat there on my big magnetic platform where I always keep my dies. Uh, you'll see that you can just use these as toppers on cards as well and you can have a great big stocking, a big candy cane and a lovely big gingerbread man. So a very very quick look through the dies first of all will show you that these are the pieces that will turn around. These pointy parts are actually glue tabs here and here but just take those out and this is the thing I always like, a little bookmark. So if you've made a card and you want to make a little bookmark to go inside it that was a lovely little uh, set of dies there to do that as well. And then we've got the holly. So we've got the leaves and the berries. You can use that in lots of things. We've also got a bow. So we've got these three pieces. This will fold over and then this goes on uh, the back of it. And this then is the little ribbons down at the bottom. So that can be used in loads of things as well. Then, this then is the little face that goes inside on the face of the gingerbread man. And you can have a... Well, probably a gingerbread lady or um, different facial expressions anyway by ch swapping these around. And there's another little bow there. And these are little buttons and you can have heart shaped buttons as well. And then these pieces, just in case you're wondering, are actually the little bits of icing that you would put across here, here, here and here. So then we've got the stocking and that's quite self-explanatory, I think. Uh, this one here cuts out the decorative detail. It doesn't have any outside cutting edges itself. So that would cut into card. And if you want the piece that you just cut out of your card, you'll use both of those together. And then the outer parts here are actually the lids because obviously they've got to be a little bit bigger than the box so that they fit on. So that will be the lid for that one. This will be the lid for the gingerbread man box. And then this will be the lid for the um, candy cane box. Now, I have lots of other videos that you might want to have a little look at. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and you'll see them coming up. But you can also go back and have a little look at the different playlists I have there. And you might find something else that you like there as well. Lots of Christmas things, lots of, uh, well, all sorts of things really. So do check that out. Anyhow, if you do enjoy this one as you go through, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and leave me a little comment because that does help my channel. Also, I will have my affiliate links to everything that I use down in the description of the video. And like subscribing, subscribing doesn't cost you anything, that's free. Using my affiliate links doesn't actually cost you anything extra, so you'll just pay the normal price. But it does give me a little commission, and obviously that then helps my channel along as well. And I really appreciate everybody who already does that. Thank you very, very much. Now, I am going to do some die cutting, and I think I've just got the perfect card because... Tonic have just released some beautiful 240 GSM card, which I want to try out now with this little gingerbread box here. So that will be my first port of call to grab that off my desk and start cutting. I've done some die cutting now and you can see, uh, I think I showed you this at the start, there are two different sizes here of these. So the bigger one is the lid, as I said before, and the smaller one is the actual box. So you need to cut two with the big one, set those aside and then cut four with the smaller one. Set two of those aside for the moment because we're going to cut an aperture in that and then you'll come back with these two dies so that's this one and uh, this one and you'll cut these out four times each. Now this one, the smaller narrower one is the one for the lid so I'm going to set those aside too and I'm going to just stay with the wider ones and the base of the box just for the moment. Now it says on the instructions that you'll join the four of these together and then attach them the whole way around here. Well, I have found from experience that it's actually much easier if you put these on just one at a time and then you can make sure that they actually join up properly when you come back to here. So I have put double-sided tape along here, although you could use glue. Uh, I've actually cut nicks into each one of the little points there as well, just so that uh, that's still flexible and the double-sided tape isn't just rigid in one straight line as well. But you could also 
put the double sided tape around the underneath of this and then attach that on there so just whichever way suits you but you're going to start at this point here and just take your time and have that point and that point going together and then just fold these in around and hopefully you can see that I'll move it around this way you might see it better so what you're actually aiming to do is just get that the whole way right in there and just make sure that everything is all lined up now I've already curled these I should have said that first curl these um, long pieces with my bone folder just to make sure that there's um, enough flexibility to get that round here but as I said before this is 300 sorry 240 GSM card so it's actually much more flexible than the 300 would have been that I would normally use so I'm actually really happy about that Just press this down as you go and then once you've got this one on you can attach the next one. Now whenever you've got all those pieces attached you can go ahead and glue these side pieces. Uh, I find it much much easier just to leave that to the end. Just put glue down in there and then hold them together making sure that's straight at each join the whole way around. Whenever you've got that done then you'll be able to go ahead and fold all these pieces over. In the meantime, uh, just until we get the underside of this ready, just pop them back like that so that it fits in. It's easier just to put them back the way first. Anyway, I need to go ahead and glue these little pieces all together first. I've folded all these pieces out, out the way and before I actually go ahead and add the little rim inside here I'm just going to take my se uh, second one of these die cuts that fits exactly over here and I'll glue right around the outside edge of that and put it down on top of this and a little bit of glue on the inside of it as well but that will strengthen the base of this and it'll cover all of those glue tabs up as well. got my other two die cuts that are exactly the same size as the two that I've already used here and then you'll find uh, one little die cut that has uh, it cuts out an outline a sort of a, a wriggled or I can't, I can't even think of the word I was concentrating on this so much a sort of a scallopy kind of curvy outline and that's actually the icing for your little gingerbread man but this one fits on the outside of that I'll show you the two together here. So that's where you'll find them on your die sheet, both together like that. And if you put both of your other die cuts together and then cut that one through the center of them, you will then end up with two pieces like this, which then become the reinforcement parts for your lid. And you can use those for something else or just use the card that you've left from that. So what we want to do now then is put this in here and then attach all of these pieces over onto the top just like that all of those over like that and then sandwich those glue tabs in between the bottom one and the top one so you can do this in a number of ways um, you can just put this on here and glue those over but what I'm going to do is uh, put some double sided tape around here I find that easier for the uh, this part first of all so if you have a look here um, you really need to go on this outside edge here just to uh, put the tape around the outs outer edge of this. Now you might have a tape runner or something that would do this a little bit neater for you and uh, I don't so I'm just going to fold my tape. I've done it before. I've tried this out first of all and I know it works okay so we're fine with this. Um, I, I, as you probably have seen, haven't added the decorative detail onto the side of the box yet. I always leave that to the last on a box like this because you just want to make sure that everything's lined up first and the la worst thing that you could really do is add all of those on and then find that one of them's just not in the right place so uh, that's why I leave the side tabs to the end and then the decorative panels on top of it as well. So I'm going to follow this the whole way around and then uh, insert one in just below there.
I've taken the release tape off the back of this and I'm just going to pop this in here. Now you might wonder if double sided tape is actually strong enough to hold this but you don't need to worry because I'll be adding glue whenever I'm adding this one and it will hold it all firmly in place. There's not a problem at all. So just fold over these little tabs again right onto the top of that like that and that will hold it and you can work your way right around just doing little by little and make sure you have it all in the right place. So that's that one all attached in on the underneath and now I can just add glue onto the top and right out to these edges and then put this piece over the top of all of that. That covers all of that up and makes it nice and strong and tidy as well. So this time I've actually just put the double sided tape around the outside edge here and I've got four of these curved and everything ready and I'm just going to, uh, sorry, start down here again uh, and work my way right around here. So that will go in underneath there, just like that. And I'll follow that curve the whole way around and then add the rest as I go and make the little lid, as I said, in exactly the same way as I made the box. That's the sides all on the box lid and as you can see I still haven't glued these little pieces together yet but I'm going to go ahead and add this piece on first to, to give stability to that. That will go directly on top of that once I get the glue on and then and only then <laughs> Well, I put this over the top of here and then I'm going to add the glue onto these little bits and make sure that I've got all those in the right place because I think that's where my prototype went wrong. Um, I glued those directly as it said on the instructions but I actually think they're a wee bit better and closer fit if you overlap them a little bit more. So if you just wait until you've completely finished before you add, you sort of attach those ones together, I think you're going to get a better fit. use the same die that I cut out the little aperture in the, the box uh, supports with and I've cut that out in craft card and I'm just going to place them right directly on top of the lid like that and then you can see that the other one actually cut out the white icing and I've cut that out in white glitter card this time and then this little die cut out these little pieces here for across the uh, sort of arms and legs and I've chosen one of the little face dies, so it's actually this one here and I've cut the little uh, eyebrows and the, the eyes and the little mouth, wherever it is. Yep, there it is. And again, I've cut these out in white because I think that's what suits best. Uh, it sort of looks best because it's icing and oh, he's very sad. I wonder what I said. OK, he's happy again. Didn't take much. <laughs> so I am going to pop these little pieces on here and I'll glue them down and put the eyebrows on. I could have some good fun with that, couldn't I? <laughs> now you'll see I've gone a little bit ahead here and I've put little panels on the sides of the box and most of the way around the lid as well. And I just want to show you how I've done that. So it's the inside part of the actual side panels themselves. So that's the panel. And then I've taken this die and I've cut that out in white four times in this smaller size and four times in the bigger size then for these ones and then I've cut this and this together I've just taped them together and run them through the die cutting machine with some red card and that has given me the, this shape here now this needs to be really really pliable so I'm I've already gone ahead and uh, molded it round both ways with my bone folder and I'm going to add some glue onto that and then that'll be able to fit into the little curves on the box so uh, this is the last one to go on the lid and I just want to make sure that the, I put enough glue on but not too much so that it doesn't 
sort of splurge out through the sides. Uh, there we are. That's a new word for you. <laughs> so that's going to go in there and then just hold it very, very carefully and mold it round like that. And hold it in the curves for the meantime until the glue dries. Just pop it on the side there and make sure you hold it really tightly. Follow all the curves and into the centre there and hold it until the glue dries. It'll only take a minute or two. There we are. Now, I looked at this. This is, is exactly what I wanted, but when I looked at it afterwards, I wasn't too happy about the brown around here. I thought it just made this a little bit too dull. So ideally, I should have put a panel on first and then put my little um, gingerbread man on top of the panel. But what I've done to, to combat that is I've taken the outside edge die, that's this one, and then the little gingerbread panel die. And I've put those both together. I actually set them on this, so this was a bit fiddly. I set it on here and then I set this one on and I actually taped them together with fairly strong tape um, just so that I would get them the same, exactly the same distance apart as I had on the lid. That's fiddly. Ideally, put, uh, just do it at the start. But it's going on here. I'm just going to glue it on there and I think that looks a lot better. And I've got my little bow and then I have cut out three little hearts for down here as well. There's the finished box. Now I'm making the candy cane and I'm making this in exactly the same way. So the two smaller candy cane shapes are for the base for the little box and then the two bigger ones are for the top part through the lid. And then I've cut another two of the smaller size and I'm going to cut an aperture through those. And again, all of the, with all of the uh, little glue tabs facing the same direction, I have um, folded all these over, bent this a little bit and I've got double sided tape in there. And again, I'm just overlapping this at that uh, mark there, but I am not gluing it yet. Just to make sure that everything's in the right place. I'll pop this on the whole way right around here. It's actually much easier to do if I'm not looking in the camera, but there it is, down in there and follow that the whole way around that curve. And this one is a lot quickly, more quickly done than the uh, gingerbread man because there's less curves in it. Then when you get to the end, you can go ahead and glue this part on. I've bent this backwards like that and just glue these two pieces together. So maybe I'll just put this one in first. I think that might be the best idea right into that corner. That's where you start in that part there. taken the two pieces that are the same size as the bases and I have cut out the aperture with the smaller candy cane and that's going to be the little support on this box and this time I have just put double sided tape around here just like that and I've already got one part on and I'm just following this the whole way around just the same as I did for the other one that will hold that really really well and then when I get to the end of it get back up to here again. I'm just going to put glue on that and put this directly on top. That will strengthen it and then it will also cover all the glue tabs as well. You probably noticed there that I've added the panels on just with the straight edge dies this time and not the little die cut pieces in between. And that's from the Candy Cane Christmas collection and it's really, really pretty. And I thought that that would match nicely with the candy cane at the end. Now, for the lid this time, 
these are the bigger pieces I've got two of them here one and then another one that's going to go on top of that so just remember that obviously this time these pieces are going to always start in that in a point there these pieces are going to get attached onto this side so that they will actually fit down and just remember not to sort of have it the other way around so I am going to go ahead now and add some double-sided tape along here so that I can add that on uh, just to, uh, that little piece along around the outside of it and then when I finish that I'll add another piece directly on top of that. I've gone ahead and finished that one then by cutting this die out so it, this is the one that fits on here. Uh, I've cut that out in white and then I've cut the two dies together so this pattern die and this one together I taped those and cut that out in red and glued it directly on top of the white one and then I've popped that up as you can see there on 3D foam pads and put it right on top and then I've got this little die here which I cut out in avocado green and then I cut this one out in green mirror card flourishing green I think that one was called and I paper pasted one half of that back in again and left the other green showing there and then I put the little die back over some red glitter card took out these three pieces and popped them in there and that's my little candy cane box so I'm going to go on to the stocking one now and I've got all the pieces cut out so I'll show you those now so I've got four of the smaller piece panels cut and then two of the larger ones which were going to be the lid and I'm going to cut two apertures out of this with the smaller die that I have here uh, I'm just going to pop that into the centre of the two of these and then that will take the aperture out of the two of those and that will give me the little support the whole way around. I have also got three of these cut which will get uh, folded and burnished and attached around here and then I've got three cut for the lid as well. So again I'm not going to um, fold that back just yet but I will give this a little shape just to give it a little bit of a curl and one side back like this the whole way along and then I'll burnish that and starting off right here I'll work my way around the little stocking. I used some beautiful star patterned paper from the Candy Cane Christmas collection again to cover that and again just with the same two dies that I'd used before on this little candy cane. Actually, when I should say this, whenever I cut that out, I thought this one looked maybe a little bit bare. So I took two dies from this set, which was actually uh, an outer one, which I hadn't already used on this one. And then the outside edge of the actual box itself, so it's slightly smaller than the lid. And I cut those both together and I'm going to glue that on there. I really didn't want to cover up all of the white because I thought the candy cane, it looked nice. But then when I saw the sides, I thought, oh yeah. A little bit of extra to cover uh, paper to cover the top of that would be really nice so I'm going to go ahead and do that first and then I'll come back and uh, get on with the little uh, stocking there you are so that's what the finished one looks like now and I do actually think it does look a lot nicer it just looked a little bit bare so I've come back to this box and there's the box there's the lid and the lovely star paper around it and I've covered the top of it again with another piece of red card and then I've gone ahead with some glitter card in red again and I've cut that out with this shape here so just the outer die with the red and then I've gone back in with this die and this one together because as you can see this one doesn't have an outside cutting edge now if I was to cut that straight into there you would get all this detail but I've cut it on to white and I've just really all I'm going to use is the top part, the toe and the heel. So I'm following uh, these areas along. You can see you need to go on the inside here and you can just feel it with the scissors and you'll be able to feel exactly where you're going to cut and then turn it over and you'll feel it here as well. Just right in there. Now we're going to do the rest here. Uh, so I think on this one I'm going to go just there and there and then we'll glue those directly on on here 
got a little scalloped edge and I'm sure that'll be nice on something else. But I've also got a little bow to go on top of this, so don't go anywhere yet. I'll be right back and we'll do that as well. I've popped this up on 3D foam pads and now I'm going to make a little bow. And I know I'm going for red on red, but I think because of the glitter cards there, I really like to have this uh, on red as well. So I've got some glue in my hands. <laughs> anyway, these are the dies that I've cut out and these are the shapes here. So take this one and just burnish or uh, mould maybe would be a better idea, not burnish, um, these little areas here. And then all you need to do is put glue in this centre part and then fold this one over so that it goes there and leave this rounded. Hold that just for a minute or two. Well, not even a minute or two, a second or two would do. And then put glue on this little tab and fold it directly over on top of that one. And you've got the sort of basis of your little bow. Now, that one then can go on top of this one. So put a little bit of glue on there and pop that right on top of here. Just like that. I'm just going to hold that together with my tweezers for a second or two. If my reverse tweezers had been on my desk, um, I put it, would have just held them together with that for a second or two. But anyhow. This little bar here then is the piece that goes right around the centre of this. So let's just put some glue on the back here and lift this up, pop it on there and then just fold it right around here and onto the back again. Now, there's a little piece that hangs down, which you could fold back up again if you want. I'm just going to trim that off. And then that can go directly on top of the tails here. And doesn't that make a really pretty little bow? Now, don't forget, you're going to be able to use this bow for all sorts of other things as well. So remember it's in there. I'll put a little note on top of your, your die set because obviously then you're going to use that for on cards or on other boxes or all sorts of things. And there it is. Now I'm going to put it just about there. There's the finished box. I actually took the little holly leaves and I cut the sort of detailed one out. You'll see that I've already used it on here, but I didn't add anything extra into it because I just wanted this to be mostly red because I just sort of kind of like that idea. But I thought it maybe needed broken up just a little bit with a tiny bit of green to bring those sides in as well. So there's the three finished boxes. The gingerbread man, the candy cane and the little stocking. I've enjoyed making them and I hope you've enjoyed watching. Don't forget that my affiliate links to the die set and anything else that I've used will be down below in the description of the video. It doesn't cost you anything extra to use that but I get a little commission. And thanks very much to everybody who does that already. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and leave me a little comment. And also, if you haven't already subscribed, that's free as well. Don't forget, you can do that and hit the notification bell and you'll see lots more videos coming up. Hopefully, ones that you'll enjoy as much as this. Thank you very, very much in the meantime. Happy crafting. Bye bye.